plugged up the easy press and so if this is your first time using it Cricut recommends that you actually install the software on design space but I'm not going to do that right quick I, I am going to put the temperature on 400 but once it heats up so I'm going to put this on 400 first and so it's going to heat up to when this turn when this red C and I need the cameraman to zoom in go closer when this C turns green then that means that it's ready to go and I'm going to leave it at 30 seconds this is how you change the time if you wanted it for more than 30 seconds you can change that if you wanted it for less than 30 seconds you can change it by hitting this timer button and then going up and down depending on what time you want and the same thing for the temperature the little thermometer here tells the temperature so it's heating up right now and it has to reach 400 degrees and then it will turn green by 10 so it covers more space now this is the mat that I have for my little 6x7 of course it's too little because it rarely even fits the base of it so you would need a, a big um, 12 by 12 mat um, you gotta excuse I, I accidentally ironed this on here but I don't think it's gonna affect anything so I just put some paper on the bottom of it to not seep through on my things but I'm not worried about it on this one you need some either butcher paper or you need some um, you need some uh, You need some butcher paper or you need some of this image. You protect your image on your um, on your product. So I'm going to put this on the bottom of it actually because I, I actually had my, um, my glitter iron on right here. And I wanted to mess it up. So I'm just going to put this on the bottom. So they give you the little cloth that you saw on the unboxing of my video of what the the heat press i mean the easy press came in so i am going to put the little cricket symbol on it but first in order to take out all of the moisture out of your items they ask that you kind of like pre-iron the the whatever you're about to um press it on and just kind of pre-iron it a little bit to release some of the moisture and see how it looks a little bit better and it's nice and warm but it still hasn't reached 400 degrees so we're still waiting on that it takes a few minutes to reach that and so i'm going to be just kind of like placing my image on the middle of it some kind of way and so I think that looks about right and so it makes a noise whenever it's ready and like I said the C turns green so it is green it has reached 400 degrees and we're gonna set it for 30 seconds all right you pick the easy press up you put it over image and you press the green button and whatever time you have on here it's going to count down that time and i kind of apply a little bit of pressure whenever i'm doing the images you really don't have to because it's supposed to warm evenly but i kind of like like to make sure that it's embedded in my garment And so we got two more seconds left. One more second. There we go. 
And so there we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for this to cool down just a little bit because it is hot. And you know, heat transfer vinyl has this little clear coating on the top. And so normally when you do images, it's, you are going to like peel and weed around it. But you're not going to have to do that because they already cut it out to the same size. So you're just going to have to find a little clear tape that's around it and peel it off. And then there you go. That's your little image right there. And so it kind of like, it might have been a little too hot. That's why it's kind of still, it stained the sack a little bit. And that thing is very hot. So I'm, what I'm going to do is cut the machine off. That was the on and off button right here. I'm cutting it off because it is hot. So that is how you do an iron on project. First project. Stay tuned to All Things Crafty Academy for more videos. I'm going to show you how to do sublimation, um, vinyl projects, greeting cards, all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. Join the group. Participate. And let's get things cracking. Talk to you guys later.